I have a video topic for you today. It's actually about injuries. As you can tell, got injured. Actually, no. My glasses arm just broke off because I sat on it, and my woman was very lovely enough to uh, tape it up for me. But today's video topic is actually about injuries and the cat eye goalie cage. One of the number one reasons why I don't use a cat eye cage, and I'd also like to point out out of all the guys, out of all the goalies in the BCIHL this year, three to 10 goalies, so 70% all rock cat eyes, illegal. In Canada, you cannot use a cat eye. At retail, you cannot buy a cat eye cage. The main reason why I like wearing the, the certified bar cage, I find that with the cat eye cages, all the bars kind of collectively, they come down towards the bottom of the cage. And when pucks are in my feet, they're down low, I have a, a harder time locating them because there's so much bar happening. I found at least with the cat I had with the coveted mask I had around Christmas time. With that being said, I remember Tim Thomas saying in an interview, he doesn't use the cat eye cage and he uses a whatever bar cage he used because he had a hard time seeing pucks down at his feet and he wanted to get that, that sight line, that vision. Judging from the numbers and from the Vesna trophies and the Stanley Cup, the Conn Smythe, he was onto something. And I, I do really believe that the cat eye cage, I really do think it hurts your vision towards the bottom when you're looking at pucks you're on the feet and the knees. I don't honestly feel safe in a cat eye cage getting a buck off, getting a puck right between the eyes and the bar breaks. Second period, one nothing Sharks. Radic Martina cranks one and hits you, getting a buck off right in the mask. He was cut on his nose and down bleeding on the ice. You can see by the replay that it hit him square in the face and it actually breaks his mask. Mike Smith, puck off the head, bar breaks. Well, or dents pretty heavily. Want to know what it sounds like? Listen to this. Henrik Lundqvist, stick in the eye. Now Ian Cole hammers one, it catches Lundqvist high. It's like the stick is what got him up high. Yeah. You could honestly say they're preventable if you're not wearing a cat eye cage. If you look statistically, Henrik Lundqvist, he hasn't been the same since he had that injury. All that, in my mind, has put me on the path of, I don't want to use a cat eye cage if I don't have to. I don't see a need to spend that money on a cage that prohibits my vision towards the bottom of my feet. Granted, yes, the vision up here is fine, I find I'm making a lot of saves down low, so that's kind of hurt my vision where I could potentially get injured. Although it's not likely, it is a possibility. So that is the main reasons why I don't like wearing a cat eye and I don't want to wear a cat eye. Uh, I have an ice time and I would like to follow up the video by showing you that ice time. So that's what we're going to do. And some drone shots, obviously. Sidelineswap.com. This is kind of heavy, so I'm gonna squat now. You're supposed to tell him like a pun. It's supposed to be funny. What pun? Well, the, the, the pun. It's supposed to be a funny ad. I mean, like, your lifting is pretty comedic, but. <laughs>